According to the National Children's Hospital, Japan, recently, the hospital has received two patients three years old and 18 months old, two brothers, admitted to the hospital in a state of vomiting and severe abdominal pain. Through examination, paraclinical tests and taking history of drug use, doctors diagnosed the child with poisoning, acute kidney failure due to vitamin D overdose for a long time. Talking with the doctor, the families of these two children said that wanting their children to grow up healthy and not of rickets, the family regularly gave the two babies vitamin D every day since birth. However, when I see that I like to drink and think vitamins are tonic, it's okay to drink a lot, so instead of giving them the prescribed dose, I give them to two children to drink as they like. When using, two children drank directly from the bottle, without using a measuring device, so they took more than the prescribed dose many times for a long time. About two weeks before being admitted to the hospital, both babies had vomiting, constipation, and abdominal pain eight to nine times a day. At the National Children's Hospital, the results showed that both children had hypercalcemia, vitamin D levels were very high compared to the normal limit, two children were diagnosed with vitamin D poisoning, acute kidney failure. Mistakes of many parents Dr. Tatsuki, Department of Nephrology, Dialysis, National Children's Hospital shared that vitamin D plays an important role in the formation and development of strong bones, as well as contributing to strengthening the immune system of children. So the more vitamin D supplementation, the more tall and healthy the child is? This is the question and also the mistake of many parents when arbitrarily supplementing vitamin D for their children. Children with vitamin D poisoning often have symptoms of hypercalcemia such as poor appetite, weight loss, abdominal pain, vomiting, constipation, drinking a lot, urinating a lot, in severe cases can cause dehydration, life-threatening. When the calcium concentration exceeds the threshold of the renal tubule, it will cause the precipitation of calcium in the renal tubule and calcification of the renal pyramid. Dehydration Decreased glomerular filtration rate and renal pyramidal calcification can compromise renal function in renal tubular acidosis and renal failure. Why is an excess of vitamin D dangerous? Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin. In contrast to water-soluble vitamins, the body cannot easily get rid of fat-soluble vitamins. Therefore, supplementing too much can cause the accumulation of vitamin D inside the body. The exact mechanism of vitamin D toxicity is complex and still poorly understood. In general, this can cause excess vitamin D levels in the body to increase. It can get inside cells and overwhelm the signaling processes it controls. One of them involves enhancing calcium absorption from the digestive system. So the main symptom of vitamin D toxicity is hypercalcemia. High calcium levels can bind to other tissues and damage them. Dr. Tatsuki said, vitamin D is a mineral that plays an important role in the absorption and metabolism of calcium to help keep bones strong. Vitamin D is found in very little food, mainly synthesized by exposure to sunlight, or provided orally. Many parents want their children to be tall and strong, so they give vitamin D supplements to their children from a young age. However, Long-term high-dose vitamin D supplementation poses a potential risk of toxicity if used improperly according to the dosage instructions of the doctor. Vitamin D poisoning is a rare condition, but if not detected early and treated promptly, it can lead to serious complications. What is the recommended dose of vitamin D for children? You should take vitamin D as directed on the label, or as directed by your doctor. Do not take more or less than the recommended dose of vitamin D. Usual pediatric dose for immune function, you give your child 2000 IU of vitamin D per day during the first year of life. For children with rickets, you take 125 to 250 micrograms, 5000 to 10000 IU, of vitamin D daily for 2 to 3 months. 